Once you are happy with your skinning on one side of the character, you can mirror it to the other side of the character. Make sure that the character is in T-Pose and you do that by zeroing out all the controls. With that, you select the mesh, you go to skin and you go to mirror skin weights option box. These settings are similar to when you mirror the joints. We have the Y and Z axis that we want to mirror across and then we want positive to negative, which is correct. Surface, surface association is the different ways you can mirror these settings and you can have influences to closest joint, label and stuff like that. I find that these settings are quite good. So I have a closest point to surface and closest joint. Then I press apply and that is it. So you can see now my skin weights are actually mirrored. In order to get your skin weights onto other parts of meshes, that's quite easy to do as well. So first you need to bind the mesh. You do that by selecting the joints and then the mesh, go to skin and bind skin. You do the same, select the joints, select the mesh, and bind skin. Now they don't have the same skinning now, but we'll fix that. So I'm just gonna hide the outfit and then I'm gonna select the base mesh and then I'm gonna select Henry mesh and I'm gonna copy skin weights. I use raycasting for this and then closest joint again to associate it with. I find those are the best settings. I do it from the base mesh to the outfit as well and this time I can just press G and if I hide the base mesh and if I unhide the outfit and show textures, you should now be able to see how it looks. Now this is an effect of that the mesh is a bit different down here. So it's not getting the correct weight weights. Now if you have issues like this, it can be fixed. So I'm gonna go to this mesh and I'm gonna select the vertices and I'm gonna select the vertices that are acting up, which are these, maybe this one as well. And then I'm gonna go to skin and hammer skin weights. That fixed the issue. I'll then go back to the bind pose or the T pose and then I'll select the outfit again and I'll go to mirror skin weights. That fixes the issue on the other side as well. So now we have the same skin weights. There might be small issues. You can still see there's a small issues here and there. Those are because it's not really perfect when you do it like this. So you have to kind of like fix those small issues. We'll just do it in the same way with the hammer skin weight tool. And you can see there's a little bit of issues here as well. Press D and that should fix it. This is always something you can keep working on and fixing. You probably notice some issues when you're animating, then you can just go back and fix it in the rig. It's no biggie. This video is sponsored by me. I'm excited to introduce my first ever course where beginners can learn how to rig a character in my Autodesk. It's super duper easy to follow at a affordable price and by buying it, you are supporting me. Check out this introduction video right now.